Good morning, modern steaders. Ever since the first day of fall, the temperatures have warmed back up. <laughs> it's in the 50s again this morning. <sighs> All plugged up again. Boy, these pigs are getting huge. We have got to set the date for when we're going to harvest them. It's probably going to be the middle to end of October. Come on, guys. Yeah, I know. We are talking about you. I'm sorry. Come on in, Figaro. Come on in. Everybody says hello. We harvest the pigs here ourselves on the homestead. Whew, there's a hole. The reason we like to wait till October to butcher them, that's when it's colder out. Do the down and dirty pot over the first day. Then we can hang them up overnight while it's cold out. Let the meat cool off and almost freeze. And then the next day we can start cutting everything up. And when the meat is firm, it's a lot easier to cut. I know a lot of y'all don't want to hear that. But most of us all eat meat. And whether we do it ourselves or buy it from the store, the same thing happens. But when we do it ourselves and raise the animals, they have an amazing life in just one bad day. Here, I turned the light on for you. Ha ha! That looks so much better now, guys. I wonder what Willow's gonna think. She always knows when something's different. Let's see. Coming? Come on. Well, you know we did something different in here? Come on. You're gonna like it, I promise. I know, it's different. Come on, come on. Get. We have to get something different in here. You're silly. You can't eat the phone now. You see that, guys? Fix the milking stand. It's not wobbling no more. I kept seeing in the comments a lot of y'all didn't like seeing the milking stand wobble. Ah. I can't say I'll remember to put the shim back under that foot this afternoon because we're going to be moving the milking stand again. Oh, look, there's no foam you can get. What do you think of that? This is Pine Forge. Yeah. She's like, yeah, you're not welcome. I see that attitude this morning. Did you wake up on the wrong side of the bunk bed? Huh? Did you wake up on the wrong side or what, girl? Yeah, you've got an attitude. I can see it in your eyes. Oh, my goodness, guys, my goodness. You don't like the pine being on the walls? Or it's just gonna take you a day or two to get used to it. Huh? Go. She doesn't like change, guys. She didn't even eat her breakfast. Ah, she's a funny goat like that. You're always waiting right there for us in the morning, Blossom. Good morning. You used to be the least friendliest goat. Now you're almost the friendliest. Hope still got it. I know. I'm sorry. Come on and hope. Go play and find some good food in the new pasture. Go be goats. Jump on a rock or two. You're waiting for us. Huh? Are you waiting for us? Morning, Caleb. Zeke. Zoom, right past us. He almost took out the gate.
Good morning, chickens. Did I not get out here early enough? Huh? Yep. Let's feed you over here. Trying to decide if I should let New York City's chickens free range out here in the pasture or if I should keep them behind an electric poultry netting. Leave it in the comments down below and let me know your thoughts. I think it may be until winter comes, they might be good just free range in this whole pasture. Leave it down below and see what we're gonna do because I either need to move them within a week or release them. Come on guys. The goats know we're leaving so they're coming out. I continue working on the milking room now. Little man, what are you up to? Yesterday we took care of all the bigger areas. Today we get to do all the fun, tricky cuts. I'm gonna make another angle piece here, get this filled in, and I'm gonna show you what we're doing with the trim work. I think you guys will like it. Something new, but it's gonna look really nice and it's not gonna cost that much money. Oh, twin daddy long legs. They're everywhere this year. All right, let's have a little bit of fun first. I wanna fill, I wanna fill this big gap with spray foam, but I don't wanna make a mess on our interior wall. Oh, I hate when that happens. A little gap. Oh, I usually make a huge mess with this stuff. All right, let's see what happens. Yesterday when I made this piece, I made it twice. I'm still not 100% happy with the fit, but we're gonna leave it. I'll probably put a little piece of trim work there, but I like to learn from a mistake or an issue or how to do things better. So on the next side, we got a gap right here and all the boards, we got our nickel gap. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure and make it tight. Well, let's let's show you, but I just wanted to show you that I'm gonna be doing this this side a little differently so we can make that gap tighter. So we're gonna want to go three inches. I sliced my finger yesterday on my tape measure. I don't know if you can see that or not. It's got a tear in it. I gotta replace it. So just watch out if you have a it's got a rip right here or something when it was folding up. That little lip caught me yesterday. Oof. Worse than a paper cut. Six and a half. Which should be right here. thinking this should fit all right let's try that Oops. all right so it's gonna go like that 
and then we still need to go up our spacing, which our pencil is that. So if we do, if we scribe it, the areas that it's not touching, well, it has a pencil mark. Take it back out. I'll put some glue back there and we'll glue it in place. There. I like that. That looks nice. back I want to rip this down to two and five eighths one of the reasons I like saving these little pieces for last is we can use all of our cut up pieces or our scrap pieces it's perfect right there we got our nice gap even and we got a nice tight fit to the ceiling i really like that all right take it back out and put some glue on it So I want to get it nice and tight here. Attempts later, and we got it.
That'll make sense tomorrow. I promise. I promise that'll make sense tomorrow. You want your afternoon snack? Dump it in. You're eating hay when you have all this bramble and brush to eat still? You silly boys. Ooh. You like it? Yeah. You can almost reach. So close. <laughs> I don't want to get on my fingers. Yeah. Yep. I think we should bring the other big one right over here. Mm -hmm. Watch out, Buttercup! Go and get you. It's gonna get you there, Willow. I was like, I want to jump. go. <laughs> Maybe I should get on this one. Ah! Ah! Oh no! Ah! It's too far away. Willow! <laughs> Willow! Now you got Magnolia too. Ah! And Hope! Go, go, go. Go, go, go.
looks like something took a big old chomp out of that leaves, but but didn't oh, finish it. Bunch of caterpillars. Yeah. What do you think? How many? Seventeen. Seventeen? What do you think? Moose said eighteen. Oh. Okay. It sounded like he said I heard him say eighteen. Oh! There's a chicken. There's a chicken. Oop. Two, Oops. Four. I guess Moose said 14. I guess so. Well, I was hoping to get all the shiplap up today and the trim work done. That didn't happen. I don't know how many pieces there were of that trim work, but those took me just as long to do as siding all the walls in the sail on the day before. I don't know if I was just being too fussy or what, but it was quite the project. But the most important thing is, is I'm happy with it at the end of the job. If I would have rushed, I wouldn't have been happy. I would have finished it. And then every time I was using the milk room, every time I was editing the videos, I'd be all mad at myself and irritated because it didn't look nice. So you're better off slowing down, taking your time, even if it takes a little bit longer. So it, you appreciate it. Doesn't matter what anybody else thinks. As long as you appreciate it, at the end of the day, you can sit back and feel good about your work. That's how I've learned to work lately. I used to rush and try to get it done and feel like I had a time frame to get stuff done. And it's like, no, not maybe take your time, but do it and do it so you're proud of it and you enjoy it. So tomorrow we'll be doing trim work. I can't wait for this. This is an idea that I got how to make the trim work. It's going to look really fancy and expensive, but I'm doing it out of the cheapest 2 by 4s I can find. Sounds a little odd, but... It's going to look really cool and it's going to cost like nothing to do it. I'm excited for it, guys. I hope you are too. Thanks for coming along on our journey with us as we build our homestead here so we can raise the best food possible for our family. Every year, we're adding something new. Hopefully, next year, we can get more into a better garden. I think that'll be our big focus next year. Thanks for coming along on our journey with us, guys. You're a huge blessing to us in our homestead. And we'll see you right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres.